So previous video I shown you how we can create a drop down filter and you can filter on any of the available options. Now uh, let's say you want to create a multi select filter. So you don't want to filter only on one continent, you want to filter on multiple continents. So in that case uh, what you need to do. So I'll be showing you that in this video. So click on edit in order to edit this dashboard. And then we are going to remove this filter. Okay, so I no longer need this filter. I'm just going to delete it. And this is it's now gone. And now we can click on add input. And we are going to select multi select. Okay, so this is the input which we have uh, taken. And now we need to have our search query as well. So this is the search query I have. So if I write this search query, it is going to give me a list of all the available continents. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this, con uh, this search query. And now we can click here on edit input. And now in the label field, I'm going to call it select continent or continents. Okay, so a person can select either a single continent or he will have option of selecting multiple continents. Okay, and now in the token, we are going to call it a continent. And then we can just scroll down. And here in the search string, we can put the search string which we have. And also in last 24 hours, I need to change it to all time. And in the label, you need to provide which is the field which you want to be shown as a label. So I want to show continent. And also for value also, I want to show continent. Okay, so I'm just going to use continent. Continent here as well. Now click on apply. And you will notice this is going to show you all the available uh, continents. Okay, now I can select uh, different values here. Okay, now you will notice here when you select multiple options, uh, this search query is actually uh, going to fail. Okay, that is what I'm expecting. And I'll also then going to show you what is the reason it has failed and how you can create a proper multi select query. Okay, so just notice here it is showing you total tweets zero and also here also it is not able to show any data. Now the reason for that is if you just uh, click here on uh, edit search, okay, or rather we should not be doing edit search, just save it. Okay, I want to show you what is the search query which has been formed. So uh, we saved it and now here if you just uh, click on open in search, you will notice here the value which, which is coming there in the search. Okay, so actually whenever you select the dynamic drop down, it forms a runtime search query. Okay, so this is the search query which is coming here. Now what you see here is it is showing as North America and Europe. Okay, so you have selected North America and Europe and that is why in the continent it is coming as North America and Europe. Okay, so obviously you know in your search query uh, this is not which you were intending rather what what you were intending is that you wanted to build it uh, something like this okay so it is going to be north america or it should be europe okay and now if i uh, click on search okay so now we notice that it is giving us proper result. Okay, now it is showing us total tweets. So uh, that's why you notice when we built this, I was expecting this to fail and it has failed. So now uh, let's click on edit and let's uh, make it or let's fix this. Okay, so notice here when you click on edit input in, in multi select, you get lots of uh, different options. Okay, so there is something called uh, we should be actually focusing on here which is called all right yeah delimiter okay so this is what we actually need to focus on so what we want is when we select one value and when we select second value there should be some delimiter to be used between one value to another okay and the delimiter which we want to be used is going to be okay i'm just going to delete it then the delimiter should be or okay so I'm going to call it or and also we need a space. Okay, so now what uh, what is going to happen is whenever we select one value after that it is going uh, going to place or and space and then it is going to place the second value. Okay, now in this case also you will notice that 
when we select these values let's see what happens okay i just want to show it to you and also notice one thing uh, in the preview you can see how it is going to place one value to another so you notice it is going to place value one and then there is no space okay so we have or and then we have a space after or but we don't have any space before or okay so if we run this search query like this okay without any space between or and let's see what happens i'm not really sure if it is going to run fine okay so it runs fine so which means uh, it is okay in this case but the reason it is okay is because we have used quotes okay so let's say if i do not use quotes and in that case this or is not going to be treated as a logical operator okay and in that case it is going to fail so in our scenario if you notice it is showing value 1 or value 2 so this is actually going to fail so one thing which you can do is uh, make sure you add one space in the beginning as well okay so now this is looking uh, prettier so we have value 1 then we have space or space value 2 okay now these values are going to be this value 1 and value 2 which you see this is going to be, get replaced with the actual values which you select from this uh, continent filter now one more thing which I need to do here is uh, you see this token value prefix and token value suffix okay so in the token value prefix and suffix let's add quote okay so I want a quotation here and also I want a quotation in the suffix okay so because you if you notice here we have spaces in the value of continents okay so I have North America but I have a space in between so if I don't put quotes here okay let's say if I don't put quotes here then this search query is not going to run the way you are intending okay let's say if I click here on the search and it's not really going to run and it's not going to give you the result which you are expecting as you can see here it is just giving us total tweets zero because this America and Europe is just not getting interpreted or evaluated the way you are intending so the best thing is whenever you have uh, co uh, spaces between strings you should be quoting them okay so this is that's the reason why we are using token value of quote and token value of uh, quote in both prefix and suffix okay and in the delimiter notice we have or and this is now looking perfect i have clicked on apply and i'm just going to click on save and i'm just going to remove it and we will apply this again okay so now let's select europe let's select Asia and let's see how it works okay so it is still searching and it is going to searching for the result let's see how it works and still in the total tweets it is saying zero so I'm just going to click here on open in search again and let's see what is the query which has been built this time so there might be something which we are missing okay so one thing which has happened is in the continents it is actually using double quotes now the reason why it is happening is that in our token as well so for example I'm just going to click on edit here and also if you remember in our edit search we are using these uh, quotes okay so I'm going to remove these quotes because in our uh, prefix and suffix also we have added quotes so we no longer need quotes here so I'm just going to click on apply and we need to do the same for here as well so we need to remove these quotes and click on apply and now you will notice that this is giving you the result uh, which you were expecting okay so it is showing us that uh, from continent Europe and Asia there were this many tweets which has been done in total and it is also showing us that top 10 countries from Europe or Asian uh, continent okay so I hope uh, this multi select option or multi select filter made sense for you the reason I did not go a straight way and I shown you you know in a bit more detail is because uh, what I think is that uh, this multi select is a bit tricky most of the times you add or you create a filter with multi select when you don't have any spaces and later on when the data changes when there are uh, data which is having space gets added in your filter you will see your search query is going to break that's the reason I just wanted to explain these things to you in more detail okay 
so hopefully you liked it and if you liked it uh, do like the video as well and write to me in the comment section and if for some reason this did not work for you or you want more inputs uh, just let me know in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to help you